If you are watching one of our videos for the first time, we'd like to give you a warm welcome. We want you to click the notify me button so you never miss a video. We're also letting you know that this channel is giving away 1000 XRP to have a chance of taking part. The winner will be announced on February 28th. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment with the hashtag XRP. It's no surprise that this has upset people in the XRP community. Forbes has taken down an article by Dr. Rosalind Layden, a senior Forbes contributor on tick policy, that talks about how the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission treats blockchain payments from Ripple in a way that seems unfair. Why the SEC treats Ripple and Ethereum differently is now blocked by an editor's note that says this page is no longer active. But because members of the XRP community shared screenshots showing that the article can still be seen in reader mode on certain browsers, the Crypto Basic was able to read it. In the article, Dr. Layton asks why the SEC gives the theory of a free pass through the controversial 2018 Bill Hinman speech, which the regulator says is enough guidance for the new industry, but chooses to treat Ripple and XRP differently. The policy researcher who says that this could be an inconsistency in the rules says that the problem could be in the controversial Hinman documents. The human documents talked about emails and other things that had to do with writing the speech that caused a lot of trouble. At one point, the speech became the main point of the SEC's case against Ripple. At first, the agency fought Ripple's attempts to get access to the documents. Even though the SEC had been ordered by six courts to give Ripple the documents, it didn't do so until October of last year. According to omnibus motions filed last December, the agency is now trying to keep the documents secret. It argued again that these discussions are protected by attorney-client privilege. It also said that letting the public see them could make it harder for agency officials to make policy decisions in the future. In particular, Dr. Layton said in her article that the SEC's argument is hard to buy since it says it's there to help the new market. She says that these documents could show if the free pass given to Ethereum was due to Hinman's alleged conflict of interest or if regulators are confused, which could explain confusion in the industry and Ripple's sphere notice defense. So, as reported today, she has asked the court to make the documents public by filing a motion. Not surprisingly, people in the XRP community are angry that Forbes seems to have taken down the article. Attorney John Deaton, whose firm is where the article was based, says that the Forbes contributor is filing a lawsuit against the company. The tech policy contributor has also had an article taken down from Forbes before. But it's important to remember that the author wanted to change the piece the last time. At the moment, neither Dr. Layton nor Forbes has responded to requests for comment. But the Crypto Basic will change this report if they hear anything. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know what's going on with XRP. Attorney Carl Siri filed a motion on behalf of Layton yesterday, asking the court to let her see the draft of William Hinman's controversial speech from 2018. Layton's lawyer is against a recent motion by the Securities and Exchange Commission to seal some of his documents and speech. Remember that on December 22, 2022, the SEC moved to seal some documents related to him in a speech document offered to support a summary judgment motion. The SEC also asked that some of Hinman's controversial speech documents, which Ripple had used as evidence against him, be kept secret. In response to the new information, the SEC is in motion. The Forbes senior contributor noted that although she has no financial interest in XRP or Ripple, she has written numerous op-ed articles about the documents and their significance to the lawsuit. She Layton therefore respectfully requests leave to intervene so she might ask the court to release these documents to the public and to deny the SEC motion to keep them sealed. A part of the motion says that it's important to point out that Layton has written many opinion pieces criticizing the SEC for using its regulatory towers to pick winners and losers and for not being fair. Layton has written a few articles about the ongoing Ripple lawsuit, which she calls the trial of the century for cryptocurrency. The motion came a few hours before she wrote another negative article about how the SEC was unfair to Ripple and Ethereum. As many people thought they would, it didn't take long for the Forbes team to take down the article. 
members of the cryptocurrency community have had different thoughts about the movement of ligands. Lawyer John Deaton, who was pro-XRP, took to Twitter to praise Siri and Layton for asking the court to let the public see Hinman's documents. Humans contains emails and other internal SEC communications about the draft of Hinman's controversial speech from 2018. Even though the SEC gave the documents to Ripple in October, no one has been able to see them yet. The lawyer didn't say why the document hadn't been made public last year. Deaton says that there is a protective order on the documents, which has stopped the parties from saying what is in them. Now, let's hear what David Schwartz thinks about the latest XRP innovation. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know what's going on with XRP. Ripple's chief technology officer, David Schwartz, gave XRP Cafe a thumbs up yesterday. XRP Cafe is an NFT marketplace based on the XRP ledger. It happened after the market said that it had reached many of its goals in the days before. On the list of landmarks are one of one NFT Mentor XRP meeting page and IPFS support, especially for single edition or one of one NFTs. So, it's not part of a collection, and there's no other one like it. IPFS stands for Interplanetary File System. It is used to store NFT data that is not on the blockchain. It acts as a pointer to this data and stops arguments about who owns NFTs. Also, the NFT marketplace shared data from the top that showed it was now the most popular marketplace on the XRPL, with over 50% of all XRPL NFT sales by volume this week and the most NFT sold in terms of numbers this month. At the time of this writing, bits of data show that it has made up 55.8% of NFT sales this week in terms of volume, with 3,863 NFTs sold this month. In terms of sales volume, it is second only to XRP. Schwartz wrote awesome in response to the news, quoting a tweet from XRP DAP Cafe. It's important to remember that XRPL Grants gave the project $100,000 in January. Others, in response to the change, have said that the recent successes are due to a fun community experience. NFTs went live on the XRPL last October while the network might be late to the party. It has unique benefits because NFTs are less likely to be attacked, are less likely to cause network congestion, and cost less because they don't use smart contracts. Consequently, XRPL NFTs have received significant adoption in just a few months surpassing 10 million XRP and trade volume by December. Notably, developers have recently proposed a lighter weight NFT standard to go along with the XLS20 standard and make it easier to use NFT on the network. On the other hand, the CEO says XRP and Cardano are worthless. Are they really worth nothing? The CEO of financial data provider Estimeisley Drogen has taken aim at two of the top 10 cryptocurrencies XRP and Cardano, calling them completely utterly useless. In a recent tweet, Drogen referred to these two prominent cryptocurrencies as completely utterly useless and predicted that their market share would flow towards assets that actually work and matter in the next market cycle. There's still $20 billion and $14 billion of completely utterly useless market cap tied up and XRP and Cardano, respectively. The analyst said that what Drogen tweeted is going to lead to things that work in the next cycle. Dogeen's tweet is a warning to investors who own XRP and Cardano, which are 6th and 7th in terms of market capitalization, respectively. Cardano is the native token of Cardano, a popular proof-of-stake protocol that is known as the Japanese Ethereum. XRP is the token for Ripple, a blockchain company that has partnerships with major financial institutions. Both digital assets have a sort of cult-like following, and well-known people like crypto billionaire Mike Novogratz have said bad things about them. Even though XRP and Cardano are popular, Drogen thinks that they are overvalued and will eventually lose their market share. Do you think this is true? Please leave your opinion in the comments. Guys, this video has come to an end. If you liked what you saw, please like the video. Don't forget to sign up and hit the bell for alerts. This helps me a lot with how YouTube works. 
Also, you can help enlighten others just like. You've learned something by watching this video, so share it with as many people as you can. If you're a real cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. We'll talk about the latest news that affects us all as a community tomorrow.